guys, welcome back. My name's Nathan, and today we're going to be discussing the disastrous 0-4 start to the San Jose Sharks season. Now, the San Jose Sharks have had about the worst start you could possibly imagine, an 0-4 and 0 start. Not exactly looking too promising for their season this year. So when it comes to San Jose, what is actually going on here? Are they really that bad, or can they rise back up to the NHL playoffs? Watch till the end to find out. Now, if you watched my initial NHL predictions for this NHL season, you would know that I had the San Jose Sharks doing pretty well this year. Winning the Pacific Division and going pretty far in the playoffs, how far you might ask, well, I had them in the Stanley Cup Final versus the Tampa Bay Lightning, and uh, it's, it's not exactly going too well right now. Now, the San Jose Sharks team that I expected to make the Stanley Cup Final has basically been non-existent. The team that I thought of a brilliant offense, a defense that was amazing offensively, and a goaltending tandem who I thought would improve and rebound over last season, it's kind of been the exact opposite in every single way, and not in a good way either. The offense has shriveled up from multiple key guys, the defense has been terrible, and the goaltending I don't even want to talk about. Honestly, this team is painful to watch. Watch. It's painful to talk about because they really are that disappointing. Now this 0-4 start might be a little bit salvaged if they were maybe close games or even close to close games, but these are just barn burners. The San Jose Sharks, I would say in all four games, have basically given up and died in all of them. Versus Vegas both games, versus Anaheim, and now the Nashville Predators. They haven't looked good in any four of those games in my opinion. They've just been going for the motions, the offense has been doing nothing, the defense been giving up goals left and right, and the goaltending, once again, I really don't want to talk about. And that's the problem here, because this team made the Western Conference Final last year. They were looking like a team that could potentially beat St. Louis and me on the Stanley Cup Final once again for the first time since 2016. And they go in this season with so many expectations, in my opinion, and go and lay these four games. Yes, it is early in the season, and maybe it is too early to judge, but these games have been absolutely horrendous. For a team that has that many expectations, these games and these performances just can't cut it. Now, it starts to look especially grim when you look at San Jose scoring so far in four games. Now, Brent Burns and Logan Couture are tied for the most Sharks points of three points each in four games played for San Jose. But after that, it's basically dried up. There's quite a few guys with one point, but it's really nothing too major after that. There's three major guys on San Jose who were all absolutely amazing for them last season who haven't even gotten a point yet in the season. That being Tomas Hurdle, Kevin LeBanc, and Timo Meyer. Three guys who I thought were going to have fantastic seasons, especially Hurdle and Meyer, have been almost non-existent for San Jose, which I didn't think would actually happen. Now, I'm going to put a disclaimer here because I think, honestly, when it comes to the best players, I've I think Tomas Hurdle has been up there. He's kind of getting a little bit unlucky there, so I think he probably should be in the score sheet by now. But guys like Timo Meyer and Kevin LeBanc, Kevin LeBanc had a horrible play in that game versus Anaheim where he basically just gave the Anaheim Ducks a goal. And that's basically how the San Jose Sharks season is going. They're giving up only four games into the season. And San Jose also is in a position to not score goals because when they're not scoring goals, they don't usually have too much else. That defense defensively cannot stop too many guys. And the goaltending in Martin Jones and Aradell hasn't been good since really 2017. So they have to rely on that goal scoring. And when that goal scoring has dried up as much as it has, the San Jose Sharks are basically left with an average okay team. And that's a shame because I think San Jose has so much left more in them. But if they continue to play this way, it likely will result in maybe a top five pick in the draft. They could be that bad. And it might just be the Grav Jinx coming into play, predicting them to go to the Stanley Cup Final, but this start always seemed a bit off. While there wasn't a ton of people predicting them to be in the Stanley Cup Final or to win the Stanley Cup, I feel like the players always had a little bit of pressure there because I think they know it's one of the last few years to contend with the current core they have. Brent Burns getting into his mid-30s, you have Joe Thornton, it might be his last year, and now they're bringing in Patrick Marlowe, and I don't think he's going to return after this year, after the one-year deal that he just signed. I think those players know that the time is now, and they just haven't been able to get it done throughout the organization, throughout the roster. 
it's pretty much just been a fail up to this point. Now the good news for San Jose is of course this is just a rough early start. If they can pile some wins on, maybe get a winning streak going, they could be back in the playoff race and good as new. But it's going to have to start right now before you get like a 10 game losing streak to start out the season. At that point you're basically done for and at that point you can't come back. But looking at their schedule, it's okay, it has some good teams but also some teams you can definitely beat. Teams like Chicago, then they go to Calgary, Carolina, Buffalo two times, you have Montreal, Toronto, and the Ottawa Senators. There's some good teams in there, yes, but San Jose is going to have to beat some good teams to get out of the hole they've already got themselves in. Again, getting out of the 0-4 to four hole is not easy. The Dallas Stars, thankfully, don't have to do that, but the San Jose Sharks put that challenge up in front of them. The offense is going to have to step up, the defense hopefully won't be that bad, and Martin Jones, let's just hope, can actually make a save. But while I think it could be very, very easy to overreact on the San Jose Sharks yet, I'm trying my best to keep a level head and to just say, hey, if they can win two or three games in a row, that will make them a lot better chances of making the playoffs. Right now, San Jose, I still think, has one of the best rosters in the NHL, a great chance of making the Stanley Cup final. Yes, they've started out the season 0-4, but maybe that makes them underdogs. Maybe that makes them with lower pressure, and they'll just be able to get it done. It might be wishful thinking, but I think the San Jose Sharks will be back. It might take some time throughout the season to get those wins back, but I think it will happen. But of course, with this video, I need to hear your guys' thoughts down those comments down below. So let me know what you think about the San Jose Sharks and their awful start to the season. What do you think about the games they play? And of course, the question on to you. Do you think this is a telling tale of the rest of the season for them? Do you think they'll do bad throughout the season? Or do you see them rising up and reaching the playoffs? But, if you guys want some more grab videos just like this one, you should click on this card right here to watch my video on Evander Kane and the whole drama surrounding him and NHL referee. But, that'll be it for today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Again, comment down below your thoughts on the San Jose Sharks so far this season if you're overreacting or not. Share this video also with your friends, boys, any hockey fans you might know, trying to get to 10k subscribers on this channel as well. I'm Nathan, and I'll see you guys in the next video, or stream. Goodbye.